Acharya ji, next question is from Lassia and Maya. Uh, why do we have to do fasting? Acharya ji, question is why do we have to do fasting during festivals? Fasting is uh, good as well as bad. If you are very, very healthy and somehow you have picked up some toxic things, then by way of fasting, your body's natural detoxification process will throw it away. And just to not to disturb that detoxification process, it may be a good idea not to eat anything in that time so that the system is not because if you are eating the system has to pay attention to process the food you have eaten is it not if you want your body system to be fully engaged in detoxification then you may temporarily stop consumption of food but this is for adults and under health supervision in a physician supervision and uh, it should be done only in a very unusual circumstances otherwise normal circumstances we should eat food and provide nourishment to the body and so on and so forth now for the child i will never recommend it i don't think a child should ever even experiment such a thing so a child I will say must eat food three times a day minimum and if your child is very natural whenever you are hungry you just eat food is it not and don't overeat it that is also you have natural signal is it not that is the beautiful thing about a child they are so natural they know when to eat they know when to stop eating so just stay connected with the natural signals that come from your body uh, inner body functioning you know just listen to those signals and follow them that was the answer to that question so acharya ji uh, why do we have to do fasting during a festival from where did that oh, come during the festival well there is a as i said this is for adults and there are two particular festivals they are called as navratri nine days as you are probably aware india's prime minister narendra modi ji he does nine days of fasting in this period one period is just uh, left with ram navmi that was early in this month and then another such a sequence will come around september october you know the months of february march or march april and also september october they are transition period so there is a seasonal changes are there so we are entering from winter to spring and there we are entering from autumn to winter kind of a thing so in the seasonal changes the body sometimes especially for in adulthood or old age is not uh, it takes some time to adjust to the seasonal change and that is why if you ask your parents or if you ask your doctor there are a lot of people pick up all kinds of allergic all kinds of flu like symptoms in these weather conditions you know in the months of march and april and also in the months of september october things like that so in those days it was thought of so to do a fasting so that uh, body is gets detoxified you know all that toxins that might have got deposited in the previous 6 months this is a process to get rid of all of them but as i said it should be done with great care in a particular manner like modi ji in this particular february march it's is not that he goes for full fasting he selects a particular fruits or something 
Sometimes he says, I survive on coconut water or lemon juice or a fruit like papaya or something which is seasonally available easily at that time. And then it's not that he eats a large quantity. He eats a, just, just to be able to survive because he has to work in his office. We, a lot of demand are there, work demand for him. So he just takes certain things. He selects one particular fruit and then he eats it very frugally just to be able to survive. And we know it, he has a very good health at this age of 69. He works 16 hours a day or more probably. And uh, of course we wish him all the good health, but his life is an example for this. But anybody who wants to adopt it, it's a personal decision. Nobody can impose on anybody. And, uh, but he should take this decision very carefully.